June 14, 2012 was the day that changed the life of Marine Captain Derek Herrera forever. The day that even the most mundane tasks, such as a quick exit from his car to the door of his San Clemente home, became anything but. It was his third deployment to Afghanistan and Derek was leading a special operations team. They were about to conduct an ambush patrol in the Helmand province just before sunrise. Suddenly, they were attacked. And in the opening moments of a firefight, I was shot. When you were shot, did you know, did something tell you the extent of your injury? Yeah. It did. When I was shot, I felt a stinging sensation in my back. I didn't know exactly what had happened or, or where the enemy fire had come from, but it immediately fell over, kind of slumped over, uh, took quick stock of myself. It was when Derek tried to stand up, he knew it was serious. I tried to pick myself up and move and realize that nothing below my chest was, was working, so I knew that that instant I was paralyzed from the chest down. A bullet had lodged in his spine. What doctors told him was not encouraging. I may never walk again, or uh, that I might, but that everybody was different, and uh, I'm just kind of left it at that. But Derek didn't leave it at that. When he realized his paralysis would be permanent, he started researching various therapies, and he found something that seemed to be out of a sci-fi fantasy. I came across exoskeleton technology, which was relatively new for paraplegics at that time. As soon as I saw it, I talked to my therapist and said, how do I get in that? How do I, I want to do that? Like, that's, if I can walk again, like, we're using this device. It's called the Rewalk Exoskeleton, a wearable motorized prosthetic made up of two leg braces combined with a computer and a backpack, a sort of external skeleton that allows some paraplegics to do something that's second nature to most of us, but life-changing for Derek. So this is the communicator that I just put on. It looks yes. like a watch. Okay. It has five modes, Okay. sitting, standing, walking, now is it's in seated mode, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer into the device and get suited up. Okay. For Derek and the close to two million other disabled people around the world currently confined to wheelchairs, the exoskeleton is a modern medical miracle. Just standing up was a movement out of the question until now. I'm going to press the standing button and then I'm going to go in to stand and uh, stand up and talk to you. It's nice to see you stand up. To walk, Derek leans forward and a motion sensor strapped to the side of his chest detects a tilt in his torso and the electric motor at the hip and the knee lifts his lower leg. Leaning again triggers another step and so on. That's how it continues to walk until I choose to stop and then once I choose to stop I'll just drag my foot a little bit. As you might imagine, the price tag for this robotic walker is high, nearly $70,000. And you can't get one unless you also have a full-time trainer. It was a system out of reach for Derek until his wife, Mora, a ballet teacher, took the course to become a trainer. As for the $70,000, a nonprofit, the Marines Special Operations Command Foundation, wrote the check. Now Mara and Derek are more than husband and wife. They're a rehab team. Most people don't realize that not being able to walk is often the least of a paraplegic's medical problems. What typically sends them to a hospital are secondary health issues, infections, pressure sores, weakened bones. Phil Astrakhan is with Rewalk Robotics. We're seeing that people that are consistently using the Rewalk have used less medications, have less overall complications, less hospitalizations. I feel better, I feel healthier when I get up and walk around, and, and it just makes sense. The body was not designed to sit all day. It was designed to get up and move around and walk around. There are several companies that make exoskeletons. This version was developed by a quadriplegic, an Israeli inventor, Dr. Amit Gopher, who began to question the limitations of the modern wheelchair and along with Israel's famed Technion Institute, developed the Rewalk robotic system. Now that the FDA has approved the Rewalk system, it's hoping insurance companies will see the money-saving health-related benefits and begin covering some of the costs. <laughs> With the, the recent FDA clearance, this is a reality for, for paraplegic individuals 
across the globe. So it's not sci-fi anymore. Derek is still working to master the device and likes to know his partner Mora is behind him, just in case. He also realizes it's faster going in a wheelchair. The top speed of the rewalk is 1.3 miles an hour, but those are minor impediments in a major disability. The device now, people see it and they're like, oh, he's not walking very fast or he can't run or, you know, they're, they're very quick to point out these, these reasons why the device is not incredible and, or, or, or perfect. And, and I don't really care about all that. Like, what I care about is the fact that there's people out there innovating and making these things. And, uh, and this is kind of like the first generation of, of new prosthetic legs. Derek won't be scrapping his wheelchair anytime soon, but he does notice just the few hours of walking a day that gives his body a chance to change positions changes more than he could have imagined, both physically and psychologically. Standing up is incredible. You don't really think about the little things and the small emotional or seemingly small emotional aspect of uh, these sorts of injuries, but I'm a pretty tall guy. You, know, you can't tell now because I sit down and so people that have never met me, uh, you know, they think that I'm you know, four feet tall, but when I stand up in this, I'm actually six foot two, and so being able to look people in the eye and shake people's hands and things like that, it's, uh, it's good. It's a good feeling. There are about 200,000 Americans confined to wheelchairs in the United States. Robotic walkers like this one could open up a whole new world of mobility for many of them. Someday that will be the standard of care, you know. Someday people will get paralyzed and they won't have any question or doubt that they'll walk again. Shaggy, come here. Yo. I'm Jennifer Sabi for SoCal Connected. Captain Derek Herrera has returned to active duty. He's pursuing an MBA at UCLA, and he is CEO of a beverage company.